In this demonstration, we're going to fail over synchronous loan distance. In a previous video, we, sync, we failed over to our asynchronous periodic site C. In this demonstration, we're going to fail over to site B. Now, if you haven't seen the other video, I'm just going to do a quick recap. Our configuration is between three three par systems. We have two systems set up in a synchronous configuration, and this is my primary, and this is the secondary. There's also an asynchronous link between my primary and my remote secondary, and there's an asynchronous link from my secondary to my remote secondary. I will be referring to these as A, B, and C. Okay? This is synchronous long distance. All right, so let's go back to groups. Now we can see that our async side, this side here going from A to C, is syncing here. All right, A is the primary volume. The volume on, on my B side uh, looks the same. It says three, uh, three part junkie underscore B, BB1. And then on the C side, it's the same thing, three part junkie C dot BB1. All right, so it's replicating. It's the same remote copy group, same volume going between all three systems. And now we're going to stop remote copy and fail over to our B side. All right, so let's go ahead and stop that. There we go, everything is stopped. Now we can see that my C side here is stale. It's stale because it is out of sync. All right, so I stopped it before it had a chance to actually synchronize. Now I can start it again and let the C side catch up, or I can just continue. So let's say that for whatever reason we need to move forward because this is a real failover, right? So I'm going to fail over to my B side. Let me refresh this. All right, and now my failover is up here. So I'm going to click failover, and then I'm going to select my B side, which is 65. I'm not going to start to remote copy group because I want to show the states of all the systems. All right, so I'm failing over to B. Okay. Okay, so what we should see is uh, this system, my B system, should go to primary reverse. My state should be failover. this again. So we can see the link pop in here, right? So here's my secondary system, my B system is now primary reverse, it's in a failover state, and my C system is still marked as secondary. So let's go ahead and start the group, and it's going to synchronize to my, from B, to C. Remember, it's stale. So these two were in sync, A and B. C was out of sync when I stopped it. Now, you can see that the primary volume is B, right, my B system, and it is synchronizing with system C. I refresh it, it's probably already done. There hasn't been any changes to the volume, so. There we go, so it's synced. All right, so now I've got B running uh, as the, my primary reverse, and C is still being synced. Okay, so now we're going to recover, and when we recover, system a will come back online, but B will still be the primary reverse, and this will be, I believe, secondary reverse. So let's do a quick recover. I'm not going to start the group because I want to see the changes occur. You don't have to check that. You, you can just go through it. I just want to make sure that everybody sees the what switches over here. Okay. Yes.
So now we've got our B system. Let me pull this over. Okay, so it's in recover status. My B system is still primary reversed. My A system is now secondary reverse. So we'll start this uh, job and B will resync to A. Let's go ahead and start that. see it here, this synchronization here, uh, the primary volume is B, is now syncing to A. There hasn't been any changes, so it shouldn't take too long. So it's synced here. All right, so now B is primary reversed and A is secondary reversed, and this is still secondary. Now um, everything is in sync. I'm going to restore, and when I click restore, it's going to make A primary again, and it's going to fail over primary to secondary. So it's going to switch my B side back to secondary, and then the async link is going to switch back from or back to A to C and then the link between C and B will drop because it's just a backup link. I mean it's still going to be there but there's not going to be any transferring of data. Okay so let's go to restore. Uh, I could go ahead and say not to start it but we're just going to show you the complete failover and how it works. Um, if I did the failover now and we didn't start the groups and just like before, you'd see what's going to happen, but nothing would actually happen until I hit start. All right, so we're just going to fail the whole thing over. Make it easy. And it's going to take a few seconds as it switches everything around. And of course, my VPN to my lab system is really slow. You can see that the recovery process has started. And now we've got our async link, our sync link. go. It's slowly painting here. Give it a refresh. A is now the primary volume. Everything, because everything was actually already still in sync, everything's good to go. So that's it. We have now failed over from A to B with C as a backup and then failed back from B to A after, uh, you know, whatever recovery time. Thanks a lot.